What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. Continuing on with our Indie Comics Weekend, we are jumping into something many of you have been asking for. Many of the individuals who have donated to the channel using the Super Thanks button, they have been asking for King Spawn. And that is exactly what we are doing today. Jumping into the issue number one, this is a script written by Sean Lewis with additional dialogue by Todd McFarlane. There hasn't been an ongoing series for Spawn since the 1992 series, which I think it has still has the record for the longest creator-made comic ongoing series. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't read like all 300 issues. I do understand Spawn as a character, I've read his origins, I've, you know, seen the movies, I've read a good amount of his comics, I've read Spawn Resurrection, which, you know, really does play into this comic. Because Spawn Resurrection, it kind of changed things up. And it changed it back to where heaven and hell, they are no longer necessarily similar. That heaven is quote unquote the good guys and hell is quote unquote the bad guys. And there is a bunch of other issue number ones that we could cover. If you guys let me know, you might be interested in Gunslinger Spawn. That might be something we cover. But be sure to buy the comic, support the industry. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so we are diving into King Spawn. This story is starting us off in a kindergarten classroom. This seems to be like a regular day. Regular kids, regular teacher. But then he starts talking about the Bible. And as he is sitting here having this discussion with these children, there is a gigantic explosion. This school goes up in flames. And in the wake of this destruction, we have Spawn. And Spawn, he is disgusted with both sides, both heaven and hell, because he has watched them wage this war. He knows that they have waged this war for so, so very long. And humanity has been completely unaware that they are just the collateral damage. Just like these children. Picking us up at the gravesite of this young boy named Simon. The innocent lives that had been lost on that day. Spawn plans to avenge those lives. He does this with the help of Jessica Priest. She is the second iteration of She Spawn. And while they're not necessarily good friends, they work together. They work to get justice for those that are seeking it. And then you have Mark. Now Mark is his kind of intel guy. If Spawn is going to go out here and help the world, he needs somebody back at home doing the research. And that's where Mark comes into play. He is our research guy. He is the one that gets all of the intel that Spawn needs. And right now, what they are trying to investigate is who did this? What was the purpose of this? What message were they trying to send? And while his team has checked and rechecked over and over and over again, the truth is he doesn't care. He's gonna make them check again and again until they find something. Because right now, that mother, she is mourning the death of her innocent child. Moreover, he knows that this has something to do with him. This was a message, one that was directed directly at Spawn because in the rubble he found what he calls a sigil and that symbol it tells the whole prophecy of what the person behind this is planning now they just need to figure out how to decipher it Spawn only being able to read a little bit of it part of it does say this won't be the only attack and so as Spawn continues on his investigation there is one thing that we do have to recognize now Spawn he essentially shut off the game from heaven and hell. And so where if you were a demon or an angel that was on this plane of existence, you are now stuck here. Spawn knowing that there is a list of individuals that are stuck here, all he has to do is track down those files, find out who's here, and one by one find out who this might be. Because whoever it is, they are sending this message to Spawn. They are taunting him. They are calling him in. And while they're not revealing themselves, they are using children just as ploys to send him messages. Spawn needing to get that information, he drops in on a senator. Now this senator comes from heaven. Knowing this guy is going to have the information he wants, he also finds that this 
this angel, if you will, is sitting right here with a demon. And Spawn tells them that if you don't want your lover killed, you're gonna give me the information I want, telling him to decipher exactly what this sigil means. What this means is Metatron. And this throws Spawn off because he did not know that Metatron had actually been on Earth. When everybody got stuck here, Metatron was among them. There are some heavy, heavy hitters that are stuck here on Earth that Spawn doesn't know about. Metatron just so happens to be one of them. Because though he may have been born human, he is the only human to ever have God turn them into an angel. And so if Spawn is the essence of evil, or should be quote unquote, Metatron is supposed to be the fist of God. Like Spawn in a lot of ways, just for heaven. And as we see Metatron walking through the park, a homeless man comes up to him, begins bothering him, Metatron whispering in this man's ear, and this man's head explodes. Having a clue and heading back to the place that he had been born, he heads to the location where he was first dumped off when he was turned into Spawn. As he comes into this place, fully loaded, ready to gun down anything that is here, he sees a light at the end of the hallway. Now, he knows that Metatron, he is not this dumb to leave it like this. He's not that egotistical to just keep a light on like this. So it means that this, this has to be a trap. But when Spawn kicks down this door, what he finds is something he never expected. Is that Metatron's entrails, his limbs, his body parts, his insides, everything is everywhere. As if he had just exploded in his chair, Spawn is in complete disbelief. Because if there is something strong enough out here to kill Metatron, what the heck is it? And that is what takes us 200 miles north of Brooklyn. We have religious zealots currently singing mantras and saying scripture. As they begin to continue talking about smashing the heads of the little ones, their leader lets the flock know that all of this, every body that they are leaving behind them, they will stack them as tall as a mountain. They will lead Spawn directly to them. Because when King Spawn reveals himself, they are going to deliver him with all the glory and all the punishment. The glory and punishment that they believe he so richly deserves. Saying all hail King Spawn. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. For an issue number one, 100% I am on board. Like, King Spawn, let's freaking go. Now, I highly recommend that you guys go pick this comic up because there are some added tidbits that go on to talk about the stories of Haunt, Nightmare, and Gunslinger. And these very well could be stories that we cover later on. But right now, we are going to be sticking with just the King Spawn main line. If there's enough people wanting the origin story of Gunslinger and so on and so forth, we might jump into that. It really depends on how much traction this video gets. Because if people are loving Spawn, then it's more than likely something that we'll pick up on a more regular basis with other lines outside of King Spawn. But man, this is so much fun. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. It is stunning. It definitely still has that 90s feel, but with a more modern edge to it. And I like the idea of them going back to their more like uh, Judea Christian aspects. How heaven is supposed to be the good guys and hell is supposed to be the bad guys. And while Spawn, he hates both of them. He sees and despises both of them as just the worst of the worst. Because he has seen what they do. He has seen the collateral damage and the lives, the innocent lives lost in the wake of this war. And I will not be reading ahead, so I don't know what's going to be happening. I'm not reading solicitations, I'm not checking out spoilers, so every time we jump into an issue and we cover it here on the channel, it is going to be brand new to me, as well as many of you that have not read this comic yet. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories. If you would like to support the channel, you can always donate by hitting the super thanks button. It will let you donate directly to the channel, and it greatly, greatly helps us out. If you can't do that, be sure to hit that sub button, hit the notification bell, like this video, and until the next breakdown.